What's up, Jamal? Good to see you. Um, how was the off season and what can you share about kind of the rehab status and where you're at? Um, off season was good. Um, I, uh, put a lot of work in. I uh, stayed in the States, uh, once the season ended, um, rehab in Phoenix, rehab in Denver, um, went to see Ghosty Duck a few times in LA and then went home for like a month. Um, saw the fam, went camping. I just kind of try to decompress before the season starts and um, ramp things back up. So uh, rehab's been going well. I'm just trying to stay in the present day and, you know, not get ahead of myself, um, which is very hard. Because <laughs> uh, I, I can, like, you know, um, they don't want me doing certain things. And then you know, I go home and I got my little brother that just wants to play one-on-one -on -one and stuff. So I got to, like, balance that out uh, and just, you know, be safe about it. But. I'm just eager to be on the court and uh, I'm still a long ways away though, so. Chris Dempsey, Altitude Sports. Jamal, good to see you, man. Um, well, I am at the risk of getting ahead of yourself. <laughs> I mean, what do you, do you, what are the odds that we see you this season? Do you, how much do you think about that? I know Tim Conley earlier said, you'll be ready when you say you're ready. So that's certainly out there as well. Yeah, I mean, I want to feel good when I come back. Um, I don't want to come back when I'm like, you know, 85% or whatever, uh, no matter where the team's at. You know, I want to come back when um, it feels like, it feels like I can play with the same amount of force that um, I don't, I normally play with. I don't want to be babying it, babying it at all or um, overthinking it at all. Uh, I just want to be, I want to be naturally uh, in my head where I can play without any pain, play without any uh, any second thought. I think that's where you get hurt again and you got to play with second thought or worrying about hurting it again. So, um, you know, once I come back, uh, I'll, I'll, that's when I know that I'll be, you know, fully healthy. But I don't have a time. I don't have a date for you guys. I can't see myself playing right now. I'm too far away. I'm still, I'm only five months out. This is five months ago, I could barely lift my leg off, off the bed. So um, I've come a long way, but I still got a long ways to go. Harrison Wynn, DNVR. Hey, Jamal, good to see you. Um, what are just kind of some of the types of things that you can do on the court right now? And and what's, I, I don't want you to like reveal every detail, obviously, but like what's kind of your, your routine like now, right now, if it's on the practice court or what, like what's the type of stuff that you can do? Um, well, I, I mean, it's, it's hard to talk about because I can do, I can do certain things, but I can't, you know, do it for long or I can't do many of them or I can't do it very hard. Um, so, you know, I was, I can, in my mind, I can play one-on-one, -on -one. you know, I can get to my shot, I can get to my spot, but that's just me talking, you know, that's not from a medical standpoint of what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, but I can, I'm doing, I'm right now, my focus is just focus on running, like running perfect, straight, backwards. Um, that's still, uh, in progress right now still in that progression so um you know running and then coming to a stop you know like there's there's so many different details you gotta you gotta go over um side to side um but really slow um but you know put a ball in my hand i move side to side a lot faster so um <laughs> we'll see chris marlow altitude sports hey jamal i was wondering for you, what has been the most difficult part of rehab? Playing, man, just not being on the court. Um, you know, when I got hurt, I wasn't really worried about about the rehab. I knew it was going to be a long process, but uh, I wasn't really worried about, you know, how tedious it would be or the details or I know it's tough. And, you know, that's, that's the hardest part people say about it. But for me, it's just not being out there on the court, you not know, being able to sit there and watch. These guys played 5-on-5 five five the other day and, um, I was just sick. Like it was just the first day back and I came and I'm already, I'm already upset. Um, so I think mentally just not being on the court is the toughest thing for me right now, but, um, the rehab keeps me on schedule and keeps my mental locked in. And, um, I'm, I'm here, I'm here the longest. So I go do lower body lifts. I do upper body lifts. Then I run a little bit, then I shoot. And after that, I'm, I'm the last one in the gym. So. My day's kind of full. 
Ryan Blackburn, Denver Stiffs. Hey, Jamal, thanks for taking the time, man. Uh, have there been any players, uh, either guys that, that are on the team or guys that are around the league that you've kind of used as a resource here just, just to try to guide you through this, this rehab process? Yeah. Um, you know, everybody kind of reached out when, when it first happened. Um, but I've had guys like Victor Oladipo. Uh, Clay was the first person to, you know, talk to me in person. Um, uh, Spencer Dimwitty, I still talked to him. I talked to Zach the other day. Um, so I've, I've had guys, I've had guys in the same situation as being there, just sparing my health and trying to give me any tips or um, things to look out for during the rehab process. It's been a lot of, it's been a lot of help um, giving me insight. I know everybody, everybody's body is different, but it gives me a lot of insight of um, what I should be looking forward to do or, or looking forward to doing, you know, soon. Um, I don't know, it's been 159 days now since, since, my surgery so um yeah you can tell i'm locked in when i know stats like that joel rush forbes hey jamal good to see you uh you mentioned watching guys do five on fives uh has anyone stood out as impressing you so far i was only there I mean, it was only one day um two days ago um az looked good um thrill looks real light you know he's been hurt for the past couple of seasons and um, I remember my rookie year he was just really wiry really light um, and more agile Thrill looks really good um, PJ looks like a linebacker um, PJ's PJ's look good too uh, but I haven't got to see much just off one day I look great too I can get a bucket I mean two dribbles I pull up two dribbles you know I can do that you'll see the videos they'll come up soon We'll go back to Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey, Jamal. Um, you talked to Malone, you talked to Tim, and, and both of them have said that you are going to be better on the back end of this. Um, is that where your head is at? And how would you describe kind of your hunger level um, as difficult as this year has been for you, um, you know, as you get closer and closer? Is it just burning just as much, if not more? Yes, yeah, I sound a different level right now. Um, Especially just being in the, in the basketball environment every every single day, um, but you know I, I get a chance to work on my shot every single day. Um, pull ups, you know, I just kind of find that like, consistency in my shot, and um, kind of like it's kind of like Mike and I switch roles now. Uh, he was watching he was watching me play uh, while he was redshirting, and then now I'm gonna I'm gonna be the redshirt and watch him have a chance to blossom and and make mistakes and play through mistakes and score 40, 50 points and, you know, um, you know, grow for us so that when I come back, we can all, we can all click and all uh, be better versions of ourselves. Chris Dempsey, Altitude Sports. Uh, Jamal, speaking of Michael Porter, what, what, what's, um, you know, what advice have you given him and, and what's going to take his game from uh, one level to the next? Um, and, and then how much will you be around the team? Will you make all the trips? I mean, what's your, what's your plan in terms of that this season? Yeah, I plan to make most of the trips. Um, obviously, I still swell up when I fly, um, or you know, I'm not as as loose. Or you know, you know, the next day when I when I go to the lift, I'm not as strong or not as comfortable. I might have more swell sometimes. So um, certain flights, you know, certain one game road trips, I might not I might not make. But for the most part, I'll be with the team and um, I'll be doing scouting reports for the team, uh, like pregame and stuff. Uh, I kind of feel like a player coach out there. Um, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of be, I'll be bouncing around everywhere. Um, I won't be able to leave the game and, uh, just looking forward to that uh, aspect of it. Harrison Wynn, DNVR. Jamal with, uh, the rehab these last couple months, have you picked up any, um, j j have you picked up any interest or, or stuff outside of basketball that you wouldn't have just because of this rehab? The funny, the funny thing is you think. I have, but I just go back and watch more film. I just, I just go back to the gym and put some more shots up. Um, I haven't really found a, a talent um, outside of basketball yet. Um, so far, basketball is my only talent. Um, so, still looking for something to come to me. Mike Singer. 
Hey, Jamal, can we expect more of Coach Jamal Murray uh, like we saw in the playoffs last year, bolting past Malone in the playoffs? Yeah, you know, the fun thing is we got a few new players that I don't know yet. So um, I got I to gotta get, get it back on page and get on track. But, uh, yeah, I'm definitely, I'll definitely be helping. I'll definitely help faculty speak English out there for sure. <laughs> Duvier Johnson, mile high, report, mile high report. Hey, Jamal, um, they, uh, we spoke to a few different uh, players about uh, Bones Highland and his competitive nature. Um, I know you just uh, played him with the left hand. Is he as competitive as they say? Yeah, I beat him with the left twice from the free to line. Um, we're working on my left a lot. It's just straight out of boredom. Um, so I'll just be putting up floaters, play, play with Steve Graham, play horse. Um, but I think, you know, when you see me, I, I'll be able to do more things than you think I can do. And I look better than you think, but I'm still very far away from being able to do it at a, at a high level or 100% speed or um, with it feeling a certain way. But um, I, just, I just look forward to being back on the court and challenge these guys. You know, once, I can, once I'm cleared to play one-on-one, -on -one, oh man. Once I'm cleared to play one-on-one, -on -one, um, we'll, 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 uh, definitely get things more competitive. All right. We got time for one more. We're going to end with Mike Singer. Mike Singer. How do I know? <laughs> Yo, I bet you missed these, uh, media sessions. So we got to get them all in. Um, uh, Jamal, the mental or the physical side, what has been more taxing, uh, more difficult to wrap your head around? Easily the mental. The physical is, I mean, you sore, but you're sore like any other day, um, you know, and then even when I'm sore, we take, you know, the, the next day to be lighter or something. Um, so I feel like muscle fatigue is, is pretty easy for me to get over. It's just the mental of not being out there, the mental of uh, finding peace with something else, um, finding other things to do, um, and then just like having confidence in it. You know, I, I like I said, it was just five months ago, which is not long ago, I couldn't lift my leg off the bed. So I've come a long way. It's just, um, even when I can do certain things, I got to remind myself that I can't do it to the speed or the level I want to do it. And I think that's the biggest thing for me coming back is it's having confidence in it. You know, I'll be, you'll see me, you'll see lots of videos of me playing one-on-one, -on -one, me scoring at a high clip. Um, but it, that doesn't mean it, it feels the way I want it to feel. Um, and that's just, that just comes with uh, time and I can't rush time. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Jamal. Thank you guys.